Hey guys, so today I decided I would do a book tour for you all because I've kind of been wanting to do this for a really long time and just show you my bookshelf and all of its glory. Now, I know some people do, or they literally like name every book on their bookshelf and I'm not gonna do that just because like, I don't think you guys really care. You can see them, like if you wanna pause the video and be like, oh yes, she has these books, then by all means do that. You can read the covers, but I'm just gonna point out my favorites, I guess, and kind of show you like, yeah the stuff. It's not that interesting. So with that, get ready to watch the rest of my video. Here we have my bookshelf. Yay. We're going to go way up to the top. Now up at the top, you may see that there is a random assortment of things. Up here, this is a sculpture that I did that took like 50 to 70 hours to do. And I had a panic attack in the middle. Oh yay. And here is one of my most prized possessions in the world. It's one of the boxes that the last Harry Potter book came in and it says do not open before July 21st, 2007. And they weren't really supposed to give us the boxes but I pretty much bribed the guys at Barnes & Noble into letting me do it. And in between we have some random things, uh, movies that I don't have cases for, my boyfriend's couple of movies that he owns, uh, and some apps. Yay. Moving down to the next level, you can see that I don't actually have any books at all, and this is where I keep all of my DVDs. Clearly, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, Star Wars, and Gilmore Girls. Okay, next level. Okay, this level is where I keep my young adult series. Yeah, exciting. So, as you can see, I have quite a collection of the Cassandra Clare, uh, you know, Mortal Instruments series, although I'm missing one of them somehow. I don't really know how that happened. Um, I did read it. <laughs> and uh, we also have some John Green books featured in here, some Stephanie Perkins, some Maggie Steve Otter, which I liked for a little bit, and I'm not sure I like anymore. Oh well. And we have a cute little candle there for decoration. Oh yeah. Moving down a level, we have literally the things in the house that I would grab first if there was a fire. Yeah, they're all conveniently on one bookshelf, also known as my Harry Potter shrine. So, as you can tell, I have a time turner, which was given me by my grandma, because she loves me. I also have hardback covers of all the Harry Potter books, and um, I also have a couple extras, which I'll point out to you. I have um, a British copy of the Philosopher's Stone in paperback. I have a biography of Daniel Radcliffe that was given to me by my friend Carrie in 6th grade. Oh no wait, 8th grade, sorry. I have Tales of Beetle the Bard, of course. I have a Spanish copy of Chamber of Secrets, a Japanese copy of The Philosopher's Stone, and a uh, UK paperback of The Half-Blood Prince. And I also have these really, really cute Harry Potter bookends, which I'm sure you can see. And they essentially are like, one is Harry going into the portrait hole, and then one is like Hermione and Ron coming out. And so it's supposed to be like the entrance to, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, moving down a level. We have a very random uh, shelf. The first thing you're probably noticing are my boyfriend's Pez collections. He has some Lord of the Rings ones and a couple Star Wars ones. And you clearly, obviously, you can see the large one, which we kindly refer to as Hood Rat Chewy. Yeah, and uh, he does this. This bookshelf also just has like some really random things on it. It has um, bunches of copies of books that I like that are just sort of random. Um, and I have my entire uh, Narnia trilogy here. I also have uh, other books I had to read for class that I didn't like that very much. Uh, spillover books that won't fit on any other shelf. And a whole slew of random uh, books that belong to my boyfriend from college and stuff like that. When you go to college, you get a lot of really big, really expensive books. And you don't want to part with them because you paid $200 for them. But you don't ever really read them again, and yeah, it's a thing. Looking down at this shelf, we can see some really exciting more spillover books. This is where I keep all of my Barnes & Noble classic edition books that I have, such as Les Mis, uh, Paris Lost, Jane Eyre, etc, etc, and anything else that happens to be that height. I also have my spare copy of a Harry Potter book. Um, I actually have three copies of that book. It's a long story. 
Um, and I have my Lord of the Rings and some random books that belong to my boyfriend. And if you look right there, you can see I also use it as spillover space for DVDs because I don't have room for another bookshelf in my house, but I need one. And <laughs> the last one is things I'm embarrassed about and or school books of my boyfriends that are never going to get read ever again. So we have the Twilight series. Um, a couple things go with it. I don't know why Where the Sidewalk Ends is down there. I love that book and I'm not embarrassed about it. But yeah. And then a bunch of calculus and computer programming things. A couple books about the making of the atomic bomb in Britain and that kind of exciting stuff. So yeah. Going on a little field trip over to my desk. This is where I keep the books that I am planning on reading because I assume, I just sort of figure that like if I have them here, I'm just going to feel more guilty about not reading them than if they're just hidden on my bookshelf. So we have Little B by Chris Cleave, we have Mr. Penumbrum's 24 Hour Bookstore, The Merciless, a Van Gogh biography, and the collected works of Jane Austen. Yay! My TBR is huge. It's much bigger than that. I hope you guys really enjoyed that bookshelf tour. I know that I don't have like the biggest bookshelf by any means, um, but I figured that would just be like cute and quick so you guys could see if anyone's interested and just a way for me to document also how it grows over the next couple of years. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos from me, you can click that button down below, subscribe, or you can click this little button here to also subscribe. You know, I just got two buttons in case. You know, you do it your way. Or you can just watch some of my uh, most recent videos. Those are like these two right here. So yeah, I love you all so, so much. I will see you later this week. Bye!